Rogue Tear, we still winning. Magic Card, oh, we extending. Dark Law, he's still contending. So Yugi peoples, welcome to the commentary. This right here will be some Diamond 2 gameplay. So, of course, it'll be against the uh, Soul Sword decks because that's pretty much what you face in Diamond 2. So, this game right here, I get Max Seed turn one, and you know, it's crazy. Two call by, two cross out designator, three ash, nothing to stop that max C. So it's gonna effectively end my turn with half my life points and pretty much mass change and droplet in order to save my life. Well, actually, I have max C also, so it'll be fine. As you can see, it's Sword Soul. He'll start off with a shooter and I'll go max C and chain mass change. That way, he don't be trying to send that boy to the graveyard to bounce my Dark Law. And I kind of figured at this point that he sees that I'm playing heroes and that if he's got Mo Yi and stuff that he might actually try to play through the maxi and just try to kill me. But he decides not to do that and he's going to end up just setting a back row which I assume to be blackout and end his turn. So because I don't want to lose Dark Law and my other cards, I do something dumb. And this is a really good example of something not to do if you actually want to win your games. So to prevent Blackout from popping Dark Law and whatever card I happen to have on the board, I decide to activate Forbidden Droplet and send a trap card. That way he can't chain with Blackout. That way I can Harpy Feather Duster to Blackout and he wouldn't be able to chain it and destroy my Dark Law. But there is something definitely wrong with that idea because when I activate Harpy Feather Duster, I have two cards on the board anyway. And it's just a good thing it turned out not to be Blackout. And then continuing on with my turn, I summon a Vion that I added with Shadow Mist. I'm going to send Mally Boy with his effect, banish Shadow Mist to add Polly. And I did it like this because I already have Shadow Mist in my hand. Then I'm going to banish Mally Boy to summon Mally Boy. Go ahead and bring out that Cross Crusader. And then I'm going to use his effect to special summon Mally Boy. Then we're going to tribute him with Cross Crusader's effect in order to add our boy Graceful Charity. And then, of course, Polly comes down. And we're going to bring out our boy Sunrise. And we got three chain links here. I'm going to go ahead and make Graceful Charity, chain link one, chain link two, Sunrise, chain link three will be Shadow Mist. I'm going to use Shadow Mist effect in order to add the denier that way i can discard it off a of liquid soldier's effect and be able to recycle my poly and bring out dpe you see we add miracle fusion i'm gonna discard the denier and y'all wouldn't be able to see it on the replay but after the resolution of that chain i got a little red blinky so i'm like oh, okay he has savior rock so I'm going to go ahead and try to enter the battle phase. And of course, before the battle phase start, he goes ahead and use Savior Rock on me. But because of my resources that I still have, I still figure, hey, I can OTK this dude. So I'm going to go ahead and Rota here to Stratos just to see if he has anything else. And I go Miracle Fusion and he still has Maxi. I don't know, I guess this dude is really good with his toggle because, yeah, it did not blink or anything when I went to activate Rota. And then as soon as I activate Miracle Fusion, he max seed me. So I'm like, well, I'm already committed at this point. So if he draws a hand trap, maybe it puts a stop to me. And then if he doesn't draw a hand trap, then I just win the game. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Denier's effect. I'm going to use those him and ab zero to bring out my boy wonder and then of course we're gonna trigger ab zero to destroy his savior rock we're gonna activate mally boy's effect to special summon himself once again into the zone that boy wonder points to to get back that miracle fusion we're gonna miracle fusion and we're gonna bring out a strange choice for my extra deck but for some reason well i was running super poly at one point so the shining is still in there and with those three on board and mass change in hand, I still have enough damage in order to OTK my opponent through the maxi and the nib. So, yeah, just remember when you do make weird play mistakes and just try not to lose your cool and try to do the best you can because that turn started off really, really bad for me. And it got worse kind of as it went along. 
remember as hero players you know we do have a lot of control aspects as we have some of the best floodgates in the tire game but we also have this searchable ability to otk our opponent so always be doing the calculations in your mind and try to figure out hey can i otk my opponent at this point now next match for today is in diamond two and like i said earlier you know once you hit that diamond point it's pretty much all sore so from there and i didn't open up any hand traps but i did open up with the drip and you see the ashuna come down there and it's just like okay he's definitely playing sword soul and one of the best cards for this format that's currently going on inside of master duel is to have the drip you know it's costs a little bit of dust to make it you ain't gotta spend a hundred dollars each on them but I like to run two of them for situations like this, especially because the Sword Soul players are typically not going to put their monsters in defense position. And for me, when I'm playing in a format like this and I'm running Forbidden Drip against a deck that likes to put a bunch of monsters in attack position, you got to have your boy Trinity off inside of there. So that's what this ends up turning out to be. My opponent's going to go like full Sword Soul combo and he's going to end up getting hit with the drip and losing the game even though he's also going to have blackout because as you can see i have a hero lives and i have rhoda also so we just kind of have everything that we need to stop whatever he decides to do and for some reason he linked off his chi chow right there in order to make the shaman of the tenye which is kind of confusing but like even if the chi chow was there it still wouldn't have mattered i would have been able to you know send enough cards in order to negate his whole entire board and then i see he was also running protos which i'm glad he didn't get out on the board on me so that'll be his turn i'm gonna activate rota with rota's effect i'm gonna go ahead and add shadow mist because i planned on sending it to the graveyard along with this hero lives that i activate so he's going to activate Baron. Of course, we chain the drip. We're going to send the hero lives that we just activated. And we're also going to send that shadow mist so that we can add a different hero, which will be Stratos. And what we'll do is summon Stratos, use his effect and shadow mist effect with Stratos' effect. We'll go ahead and add our vision hero Ferris. And then with the Shadow Mist effect, we'll go ahead and add the other Stratos because I know he has Blackout. I'm going to summon Stratos, use his effect to make him trigger the Blackout. He destroys both of my Stratoses. But of course, we search that Ferris. And like I said, it'll be easy OTK from here. Activate Ferris. Put that increase down there. We're going to increase our number of monsters on the board with his effect bring out that other volume sorry for the lock screen thing and i'm gonna fix that y'all i'm sorry we're gonna send mally boy banish the shadow mist that we dropped earlier to add the poly then we're gonna banish mally boy in order to special summon himself from the deck that's a royal and then we're gonna go ahead and make that boy trinity and with his 5k attack, it's going to be enough to completely ruin this Sword Soul player's rank up. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, chill. we're going to get that easy victory. So go ahead and make sure that you craft your forbidden droplets. Had them boys, use them boys, win games with them boys, and appreciate everybody for watching, and I will catch y'all next time.